President Hagemeyer was counting on me to turn the tide of public opinion and ignite the outrage of my fellow students. Excuse me, would you like to sign my petition? It's about the university reducing your science requirements. Less science? We have... No, it's to stop the reduction and keep our science curriculum strong. Are you hurrying off to tell your friends? No. Nuh-uh. Nope. Excuse me, would you like to sign my petition about keeping our science requirements strong? Of course, if you'll sign mine. To increase funding for the school jazz band. Let's pretend we never met. I needed a new plan, one where I could reach the masses. The front page of the campus newspaper was my best course of action. I deployed every weapon in my literary arsenal. Humor. So funny. Gravitas. So moving. Fear-mongering. So scary. And last but not least, heartfelt emotion. Eh, not where I shine. I'll end on fear. Excuse me, if I had an expose that's going to rip the lid off this university's leadership and shine a light on its rotten core, who would I turn that into? You can give it to me? I'd feel more comfortable giving it to someone who's less likely to roll it up and smoke it. Well, I'm the editor, so it's me or nothing. Very well. I'm handing you the scoop of a lifetime. Okay. As your people say, I think you'll dig it. The next day, I got to campus early to get a copy of my article, hot off the presses. Normally, I don't like getting newspaper ink on my hands, but this was worth it. Plus, I had wet naps. Where's my expose? I didn't run it. What? Why? You're blaming this whole thing on a grand chancellor. There's no such person. Of course there is. He's President Hagemeyer's boss. She doesn't have a boss. She's the president. Yes, she does, and we've been trying to fight him, but he won't budge. The Grand Chancellor. Well, when you say it like that, it sounds made up. How would you say it? The Grand Chancellor. I've been had. Uh, not now, I'm on the phone. Oh, are you talking to the Grand Chancellor, who I know doesn't exist, just like your integrity? Uh, I'll, I'll call you back. Don't believe her! You can't just barge into my office. And you can't just lie to my face. I can, and I did. Well, I'm going to start calling you President Hagel Liar, and I think it'll catch on because it's both true and clever. Look, I know you're upset, but you left me no choice. I knew you'd be a pain in the ass about these cuts. Language. And also, these cuts are detrimental on so many levels. Not to the university. Look, the, my job means sometimes making very hard decisions. Now, I'm sorry that I lied to you, and, and if it helps, I didn't enjoy it. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. I mean, Grand Chancellor, <laughs> I really pulled that one out of my... Uh, uh bottom. Well, I can lie about things, too. Did I knock your papers on the floor? No, I didn't. Did I move your stapler? No, I didn't. Ooh, did I break your pencil? <laughs> yes, I did. President Hagemeyer. Miss Hagemeyer, Stephen Hawking here. Oh, hello. I... Is this really Stephen Hawking? Does it not sound like me? Sorry, I have a cold. Oh, I... That was a joke. Ha ha ha. Uh, how can I help you, sir? I received a letter from one of your students about a decision to reduce science requirements. Very disappointing. Well, I would never want to disappoint you, but that, that wasn't my decision. Whose decision was it? The uh, Grand Chancellor? That is a lie. Yeah, yeah, that's a lie. Has anyone ever called you President Hager liar? <laughs>